Okay, so we're on our way to see Wonder Woman. Hopefully. Hopefully. Not hopefully. All the critics are saying this is the best DC uh, EU movie yet. Which, yes, I get the whole joke, but that's not saying much at least. Look, if they're saying it's good, it's probably good. Right? But then again, did you have a problem with the other DC EU movies? Man of Steel. Batman v Superman. Suicide Squad. Have any problem with any of those? What did you think of Suicide Squad? We finally got to see that uh, two weeks ago. Didn't got a chance to see it yet. Um. Come on now. Do you even remember any of it? I do. Enchantress? Um, all I can say is I really like Harley Quinn. You like Harley Quinn? Okay. What did you think about the new Joker? I'm sorry, I hate the new Joker. Oh really? You didn't say anything about that when watching the film? I was trying to give him a chance. <laughs> well, I want to know is why does he laugh like the penguin from the 1960s Batman? I know. <laughs> <laughs> no. I really, that's all I have to say. I really like Harley Quinn. Yeah, Harley Quinn was pretty good. I felt, I don't know, but like this dude up here, he's trying to get somebody to kill. Is his car on fire? I don't know. What's going on? No, but Will Smith. I like Harley Quinn. Really? You didn't like Will Smith? I mean, you did, you did good. I mean, I'm sorry, it just wasn't a complete impression by the movie, I mean, I don't know, they kind of, they hyped it up so much. I, I guess. I, and you know, I thought, you know, they're going to get a serious job and they end up getting some crazy enchantress queen woman thing. Yeah, they gotta yeah, the crazy woman that they gotta get rid of. I'm just like, I'm okay, sorry. that's the dangerous job. I don't care. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't care if her dancing was funky. I thought she was hot. That was dealing with that. I was dead. like, I get you, man. I get your big flag. I see why. I see why they put you, you in charge. That is, yeah, it is. It was all kind of. It, it was kind like, of. Like, oh, this little bro. I mean, it was, the funny thing too. It was so easy to kill her brother. And you had to go through all this difficulty to get rid of her. I'm just like, really? You know what? Let's not even go there. Was it easy to kill her, her brother? Uh, I mean... Uh, ma uh, machismo uh, with the it, tattoos. He had to turn, he had to turn from the big, me the big Mexican uh, deity to... Which came out of nowhere. There was no backstory for that whatsoever. He just turned into flaming Like machismo one day I was this flaming thing and here I am. But that's apparently... Um, they didn't really... You know, what what I keep saying is I feel like Suicide Squad is to DC what Guardians of the Galaxy is to Marvel. But the thing is, with Guardians, we were like in what, movie uh, eight, nine, by the time we got Guardians. And for DC, they're introducing us to this whole new team of, of characters in movie three. I'm sorry. Marvel's second, uh, DC's second movie was a team up. I'm gonna say it again, even though it sounds repetitive. I don't really care. I like Harley Quinn, and we're going to end it at that. No, actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna continue on to see Wonder Woman. And I hope they don't mess it up because I like Wonder Woman a lot. Yeah, we're all hoping they don't mess Wonder Woman a lot. But I'm hearing good things about Patty Jenkins uh, directing on this movie. Um, Here's my hope. My hope is that part of the reason that this movie has had a better response from fans is because um, not just Patty Jenkins' role in the film, but because of Jeff Johns' uh, active role in writing this movie. I know that he'll have, um, he's basically going to take over the stuff that Zack Snyder was going to do once he was done with Justice League. Of course, Zack Snyder now has had to leave for family reasons um, because of their daughter's death. He's moved on and he's turned the reins over to Justice League with Joss Whedon. So, um, 
uh, my hope has always been that Jeff Johns will be the will be the Kevin Feige of DC. All right, guys, we're gonna go in and see our movie, which we've missed this. Have we missed the next show? There's a 550 show. Right there. All right, we'll see you guys on the other side. 550, so we're gonna be here a while. Yeah. Okay, Mama's getting us some. Mama's getting us some snacks. So we're gonna go get find our seats. So we had to move down to a wheelchair seat because where they had assigned us was just a little too high up to have to carry the baby. We got our popcorn, we got our drinks, we got our slushies, we got our baby. We're ready to go. It's not up to you. What'd you think? Thoughts, views, opinions, criticisms, conflicts of interest. Everybody's just a little bit tired right now, don't want that. That you well. Yeah, it was a good movie. Um, I heard I heard some people say that it was uh, good, not great. I think it was pretty good. I think it's I think it's up there. There were some people that saying it was the best superhero movie of, of, of the year. Uh, Guardians 3 came out this year, didn't it? That 2 came out this year. Yeah, I'm going to say maybe not. Not better than Guardians 2. But still good. And it gives me hope for DC's future properties. So, non-spoilery review would be that, uh, yeah, this is like DC decided to take a breath and uh, turn everything down from 11 degrees, 11 o'clock, 13 o'clock, and say, hey, why don't we just tell this story for a little while? Yeah, I'm glad they actually gave the background story. This movie is good because, uh, yes, it is an origin story, but it's not an origin story that we've seen like more than live action. They've maybe done it twice, and only one of those actually made it to television. And that was in the 70s. So they played with the mythology just a little bit, but it's still pretty true to what Wonder Woman is. Um, the Themyscarians look really, really... The Themyscarians look like warrior women. Like, a lot of times they'll shoot these they'll shoot these uh, Paradise Island or these Amazon theme type things. And they're like, yeah, just, just hire a few pretty girls, put up some paddle armor, and uh, throw them in the background. No, these women were these, not these women. Were, these women were by no means ugly. But these women looked like warriors. Did you see that one senator? That one senator she talked to. Holy cow! And uh, yeah, Chris Pine turned out to not just be uh, Ike. 
Okay, they did do a little bit of that. They managed to get the guy naked in this movie. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. Show, but he has beautiful eyes anyway. Uh, so you want to go on spoilers? Oh! I mean, I can edit that out. Fortunately, it's not live or anything like that. <laughs> um, but we'll get into spoilers in a second. I just want to say, like, my my non-spoiler review is... Um, yeah, this is totally worth saying. And yes, it is, what, it is the best that DC's done to, so far. I would say that if DC had started with a movie like this maybe started with a Superman movie, then a Wonder Woman movie, then a Batman movie, instead of just jumping right into Justice League and breaking everybody's neck with the whiplash. That might have been a good idea. But this just goes to show that, that when you're doing, when you're building a universe, it's kind of better to just kind of just give us, give us a taste of the universe. Don't try to, don't try to put it all in front of us all at one time. Build it piece by piece first. Don't just drop us in the middle of downtown Metropolis and expect us to know where the heck we are. Give us a road map. But we'll see. We still got Justice League to worry about. But I have hope in Jeff Johns. So we'll see. Okay, spoiler review. Uh, you're mad how it ended. <laughs> I'm not mad at him. I mean, you're disappointed at him. I just hate that he died, but I'm not mad at how he ended. Nah. I mean, even if he would have kept on living and they would have been together, he would have died eventually because she's a god and he's evil. Yeah, she's immortal. I, now, I was wondering how it was uh, she was, you know, looking okay uh, 80 years later. But, you know, like her mother and that um, and that warrior that trained her, they both had, a, you know, they both had age. Of, not that they were elderly, but they looked like they were aging. You know, they looked like... Yeah. Uh, they were in there maybe 40s. Actually, that, that warrior that trained her, she looked like she was in her 50s, but like, you know, like healthy 50s. Healthy 50s yeah. <laughs> like Melinda May 50s. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. When the Germans came charging on the beach in the beginning of the movie, I was like, okay, this should be interesting. The only reason them Germans did well was because they had guns. They still lost, but it, yeah. The only reason they did they, they killed as many Amazons as they did is because they had guns. Because they was getting asses whooped. I think I saw I think I saw somebody literally mopping the floor with them. Like had them on a pike and was just moving them around. I honestly thought that Chris Pike would be um, as much as I really like him in, in Star Trek, I honestly thought he would just be kinda take him or leave him kind of character. But he actually had he was actually relevant. I actually believe the the chemistry between two. You know? Yeah. Yeah, that was good. Uh, if, if that hadn't, if they hadn't sold that, then the movie wouldn't have been as interesting. But the fact that you kept trying, <laughs> it, it was basically trying not to call attention the whole time. But she has no idea about the social mores of the 19, uh, uh, 30s, no. 40s. What was? Wait, this was World. This is World War One. Was this yeah. was 1914? Uh, what was the name of his of his uh, of his uh, assistant, his secretary, Mrs. Oh, it was, it was Ken. Ken? Uh, yeah, I liked her. Her funniest lines though were pretty much uh, in the trailers. Yeah. So that kind of. Yeah. I yeah. Couldn't believe, I couldn't believe too they were in the midst of the enemy the whole time. Yeah, and I was wondering how they were going to do that because just. So it's too easy for her to kill. Newton, 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 Pfeffer, Lucy, Lucy Pfeffer, uh, Lucy. yeah, I don't remember, it's the German dude, uh, and also Madame Poison, or Miss Poison, whatever her name was, uh, I didn't expect, her role was a little bit different, it was a little more sympathetic than I was expecting it to be. But I kind of got an inkling that it might be him, especially when he was uh, telling, um, oh god, I can't think of his name, I'm going to say the spy, but that is not his name. That was not the character's name. He's the main uh, character. Uh, Steve Trevor. Steve Trevor to not go. I was like, hmm, why didn't he to not go to that uh, to that event? Yeah, I was like, why didn't he not want to go? Well, under the guys that uh, if he goes to that event, he'll jeopardize um, the armistice. 
but eh, he knew he wasn't going to listen to him. She was concerned that if she knew the truth about Aries, he would find her that much faster, but jeez, he found her like the day they got, she found him, the day they got to London. Uh, so a lot of good that did. Just don't lie to your kids. Just, just tell them. Just, hey, you a weapon kid. It's just, it's, just, it's just problematic. It really is. Uh, it ends up being problematic. It really they end up, they end up They end up doing it anyway. And you end up uh, possibly endangering their lives because you just don't tell them, give them all the information that they need. You know what? They never explain them bracelets. Yeah, they kind of left that open, didn't they? They never really explained why when she clacks them together, they do that. They create that force field. And she had the bracelets. Are they saying that the bracelets are, like, attached to her? Because she had them when she was little. Yeah, they, she did have them when she was little. I just thought that was like, so you know that this little girl's Diana. We're going to give her bracelets. But same bracelets, and they kind of grew with her. With, and she clacks them together, and... She's what, the god Mosh? killer. Yeah. She's the god killer, and they have to grow with her. Right? Well, I mean, some, sometimes the sign of a good story is when uh, they can distract you from a question that you probably should have, but that you didn't think about until just now. I'm sure there's somebody whining about it on the blog right now. And he wasn't even really the god that she thought she was going to kill, I don't think. Didn't he name his... No, he was Ares. He was Ares? Mm -hmm. Okay, I love like that. It was definitely Ares, and honestly, I really like how they did how they did uh, his character. I will say, uh, you were saying that you kind of thought about that. I, what I was going to say was, uh, yeah, I didn't see it coming. Oh, you didn't see it coming? Mm -hmm. I had an inkling when he no. said that. I was like, hmm. I thought it would be, I thought it would be, I don't know if I thought it would be someone else. I just thought she would just have it wrong. I, actually, I, what I was thinking was that he was going to be, um, that he was going to uh, just be like a ethereal force working behind the scenes, and that these guys were all his puppets. I didn't realize he was a national person. She had met that. That caught me by surprise. There was a moment where she was talking to that woman in the trenches when they got to the front line, and she was like, "What is this?" And it's like, "This is the front line. This is to shooting bombs at us. We've been here for like a year, and we barely moved an inch." And um, that woman told her, and then and that's when she said. Um, he said, this is no man's land. Nobody can cross it. And she goes, but I'm going to cross it. And that's when she took her took her cape off and she had the Wonder Woman outfit underneath and she climbed the, climbed the steps, climbed the ladder and went out. That was that was badass. Mm -hmm. You became Wonder Woman in that moment right there. Diana, S.H.I.E.L.D. They, the three of them had to hold that thing up, though. It was heavy. Probably, um, I'm surprised she didn't knock Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why she did. He had three of them holding it, and she took out the top of that church tower like a ballistic missile hit it. I thought she was just gonna get in to get the guy. Like, yeah, she no, she gonna, she went in and just destroyed she, the she building. She just crumbled the whole top of the tower. I th I think she was still learning her 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 strength. She didn't realize she had it. That's yes. why when she jumped across uh, to get to that tower and she lost her grip on that thing she dug her fingers in and caught herself she's like oh look I'm incredibly strong and didn't know it poor Trevor <laughs> and both terrified and aroused at the same time <laughs> yeah I can't really say anything bad about what I saw there's a couple of questions I have like but like and it's mostly about Diana's gear those are the only questions I have is Diana's gear they explain what the lasso was where it came from albeit briefly it's a throwaway line, but it's good enough. But the the the, the bracelets mm -hmm. didn't get an explanation, and the costume that she found in the building didn't, in the tower didn't get an explanation. Just like, oh, there's an outfit. I'm gonna take this because I don't have one. They don't let me wear one. I, I, I just run around and run around in Greco-Roman wear all day long. I like when they took her to that store. She's trying to find an outfit, but she found the right one. I like what she ended up with. Yeah, yeah. He says he went. You're supposed to be. <laughs> what did he say? The idea is that she's not supposed to stand out. So he put the glasses on her, and she says, "Oh yes, that totally disguises it. She's a beautiful woman." 
<laughs> she wore them glasses for all of 30 seconds. Yeah, maybe like 60. 60. Yeah. But it was it was nice to see. It was nice to see Diana in the uh, in the glasses and hear her call Diana Prince. That was that was cool. He said, stay behind me, and then she blocks the bullet and he goes, Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Seriously though, what's the re what is the what is the reaction time of Diana that she can deflect a bullet from close range like that? Mm -hmm. Old girl must have some must have she, she should have been able to block that machine gun with just the bracelets. You think so? If she could react to a bullet like that. I would have loved to have seen that because I actually did get to, we actually did get to see that in the pilot of the of the first Wonder Woman series. stuck in her little love of ice cream. I've seen that in uh, a few Wonder Woman things where Diana's just like discovers ice cream for the first time. It's like the greatest thing ever. Get us out from under Wonder Woman. That's what DC Comics is saying. This is going to save the DC EU for now. That had to have been CGI. Uh, that little flashback to young Aries. To, to what? To muscular Aries? <laughs> Looking up from that pit where we got you down on. I'm like, okay, okay. But tell me something. Why do you have the British uh, mustache? Why did you have that even back then? <laughs> it still had the same. I guess they want to maintain kind of the, the visual uh, appearance. But I'm just like, you had, the, you had the, brush, the bristle brush. You had the bristle brush all the way at the beginning of time. Okay. It looks like whatever he used to supercharge himself, whatever power he drew on, he just charged Diana's priceless with it. Just charged her up with it. So I guess what I missed at the beginning of the movie, which I understood better at the end of the movie, was somebody had sent her the old photograph, the hard copy of the old photograph in a special case, and it was actually Bruce Wayne who sent it to But I, he, I don't think he had an actual photo. He had a he had Lex Luthor's um, um, digital files. Oh, he had a right. scan of it. Because uh, he, he looked at it on his computer screen. He didn't actually have a hard... He sent the hard copy of the file, which could have, you know, might have been lost to history, because it was just some random guy, and he died. You know, getting killed. Next day, that photographer. Oh. Okay. Unless he left town for some reason, he was killed along with everyone else in that village. So Bruce Wayne said that that's why she was writing back to him in an email. She said, "Thank you for returning him to." Me. And then there was some sort of threat outside the window or something. I guess that's Justice League. Maybe that's that's the best we're going to get out of DC for an after credits. Not counting that one Suicide Squad that nobody seems to remember. Well done. Well done, DC. Well done, Patty Jenkins. Well done, Ted Johns. Well done, cast and crew. Got to go, Chris Pine. You just may have got DC out from under. Wonderful.